Am I the asshole? For telling my vegan sister she can't serve only vegan food at our family reunion? Hey all, I'm genuinely torn about this and need some clarity. Every year, our family has a reunion where different members host. This year, it's my younger sister's turn. She's been vegan for about three years and is quite passionate about it. We all respect her choices and make sure there are a good variety of vegan options whenever we have family gatherings. When she announced she'll be hosting, she also said that the entire menu would be vegan to align with her beliefs and that it's a chance for the family to try something different. Some family members were excited, but others, including many of the older folks, were pretty upset and felt like they were being forced into her lifestyle, even if just for one meal. I spoke to her privately and asked if she'd be open to including a few non-vegan dishes for those who aren't keen on a full vegan menu. She got quite defensive, saying this was her chance to showcase veganism and that for one meal, everyone can give it a go. I respect her beliefs, but I also think that forcing an entire family to adopt her choices, even if just for one meal, isn't fair. She's now upset with me for not being supportive and says I'm not respecting her choices. Am I the asshole? Update Wow lots of good thoughts, thought I would answer a couple questions here so they're not lost in the comments. 1. There is no set rota, the hosting goes to whoever wants to host most hasn't hosted before, in this case she wanted to host. 2. We have managed to come to a compromise where people can bring their own food as long as it doesn't contain meat, which I think is fair. 3. Just for some more context, she works at a well-known UK fast food place, so has no issues handling preparing serving meat, although I get that this can be different at home. I've been a vegan for over 20 years. I wouldn't attempt to cook meat for someone. I wouldn't even know where to start. I'd order food with meat in it or I would be fine with someone bringing a meat dish they prepared. Everyone has different comfort levels with meat and with vegan food. On the meat eaters side, some vegan food can upset their stomachs if they aren't used to imitation products. On the vegan side, I'm not comfortable handling raw meat and that's pretty reasonable to not ask her to do it. It's one meal. A compromise shouldn't be this hard. Have to go with your the asshole. It's one meal, and she'll be serving food that everyone can eat, and it's perfectly possible for her to be an amazing host without catering to people's preference for meat dishes. If a friend whose religion forbids pork invites me to their place for breakfast, the fact there's no bacon with my pancakes isn't them forcing their beliefs onto me. But if I asked them to provide bacon because it's my preference, I'd for sure be disrespecting their beliefs. Nah but this is totally on you guys, not on her. You guys apparently had agreed that she should be the next host and vegans have an ethical stance against purchasing animal products for any reason, so I'm not sure what was expected from this. If you wanted animal products to be served I don't know why you all agreed on her being allowed to host in the first place. Asking her to pay for and serve animal products is asking her to compromise her morals and her beliefs, it's just shitty. You're the asshole. Suck it up for one meal. I am not a vegan nor any form of vegetarian. However, sometimes we do things for people we love. Eating a meal made from someone you love, surrounded by people you love, is a pretty easy sacrifice to make. If this family reunion is Thanksgiving, then I would definitely have some honey baked ham and turkey ready for me for when I get home yeah, and all the sides too. Oh, come on. It's not like vegans eat only lima beans and onions. Is your sister in charge of the food? If you didn't want a vegan person to make all the food, you should have picked someone else. You can't expect a vegan to make beef stew. People will absolutely live after eating a vegan meal. You know what's a vegan meal? Pasta and red sauce without meatballs. Served with French bread and oil for dipping. You have eaten lots of vegan meals in your life without realizing it. Peanut butter and jelly. Life will continue, and most people won't even notice that everything is vegan. You're the asshole she's not forcing a lifestyle on you, 
she's hosting and cooking. She happens to be vegan so she's a cooking a plant-based menu. Does your sister comment on everyone's menu when they host? Do you all do this all the time or is it just because it's vegan? You guys can go without meat product for one meal. You're the asshole. It's one freaking meal. I'm not vegan, but if someone anyone wants to host and cook whole a meal for me and my fam, I'd be thrilled. Winner winner vegan dinner. You're the asshole. She is hosting, so it is her house, her rules. She isn't starving people or forcing them to eat anything that goes against their beliefs. One meal without animal products is perfectly nutritious. Hopefully your family will learn something, as they enjoy veggie platters, hummus, fruits and nuts, pasta with red sauce and creamy sauces, veggie burgers with toppings, Oreos, frozen desserts, etc. You're the asshole. She's making the food. She should accommodate allergies. But you're not gonna die if you eat an afternoon of vegan food. Some of it's pretty good. You're the asshole, definitely. You'll be acting like vegan is a bad word or something. It's just food without animal products. If you can't you go one effing meal without eating animal products, it's definitely weird. She's hosting and she's allowed to define the menu. If you don't like it, don't attend. It's not like she's making someone eat something to which they're allergic, she's simply serving a vegan menu. And BTW, if you equate vegan to doesn't taste good, you're simply wrong. There are both vegan and non-vegan meals that taste good and bad. Yes, you're the asshole. It's at her house, she chooses what is served. It doesn't kill you to eat vegan for one meal in your life. You're the asshole. Her house, her food. You don't like it, bring your own. Like most vegans have to. You're the asshole I'm not vegan but I don't get why so many meat eaters get so hung up about not having meat or other animal products at every meal and act like it's a personal attack if it's not available. Eat a burger before you go if it's such a hardship, sheesh. You're the asshole you can't go on meal without meat or dairy? You're the asshole. Is there some reason you think you absolutely have to eat animal products in every single meal? As long as she's accommodating anyone else's restrictions, she's in the clear. As a dedicated vegan, she probably knows the tricks to make vegan dishes that don't even taste vegan and you wouldn't guess if you didn't know in advance. Not the asshole because I read it. You have no problem with it, therefore you are not the asshole. You are trying to keep peace in the family, you are not the asshole. If a vegan meatitarian vegetarian whomever serves only their dish is the asshole. If there were no vegan options or accommodations at a meat eater gathering, the meat eater is the asshole. Reverse it, your sister is the asshole. Best of luck keeping the peace. I would give it a shot. But I am not eating any fucking pasta salad, I love mayo, and pasta salads are gross.